Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about adsorption isotherm. This is a concept coming under the chapter surface and interfacial phenomena. So what do you mean by adsorption? If a solid, if it is coming in contact on a surface, we are calling it as adsorption. And if it is moving inside our body or penetrate, we are calling it as absorption. So that is the difference between absorption and adsorption. D means on the surface of a particle. So normally we are using the concept of adsorption especially in case of removing if you want to remove the objectionable order in that case we can use the concept of adsorption as well as if you want to prevent the obnoxious gases entering into the body uh, use we are using gas mass, right? In that case, we are using the concept of adsorption. As well as to estimate surface area and particle size, we are using the concept of adsorption. So what do you mean by adsorption isotherm means? If we are taking or we are finding out the amount of gas adsorbed per unit area and we are measuring at different pressure and if we are plotting, we are calling it as adsorption isotherm. So mainly two adsorption isotherm are the one is friendless adsorption isotherm and second one is Langmuir adsorption isotherm. In friendless adsorption isotherm, we are plotting or we are finding out a relationship between the pressure of a gas and amount adsorbed at constant temperature. So we are using the equation y is equal to x by m is equal to kp raised to 1 by n where this x is the weight of the gas adsorbed per unit weight of the adsorbent and capital P is the equilibrium pressure and K and N are the constant. So if you are plotting the X by M versus P, what happens is that we will get two constant. One is constant K and second N. And if you are keeping the temperature and nature of adsorbent and adsorbent, we can find out the constant K and N. And if the constant, if you are getting, we will convert, we first we have to convert into the logarithmic form. So the previous equation become log x by m is equal to log k plus 1 by a log p. Thereafter, we are plotting the x by m versus our log p, we will get a straight line. So initially, before converting to the logarithmic graph, we will get a curved graph. And if you convert into the logarithmic graph, we will get a straight line. So when we get a straight line, we can extrapolate and find out the slope as 1 by n and intercept as k. So if the critical temperature is higher, what happens is that more So the friendly adsorption isotherm give an empirical relation if we plotting x by m and if we are plotting in x axis, p become p saturation. So initially like this. So when we convert to the log graph, we will get a straight line and slope is equal to 1 by n and intercept is log k. So this empirical relationship we can find out at isothermal variation. But the problem is that friendly isotherm will give the adsorption value at lower value. But if you have higher pressure, we cannot predict the value. So we want to move into the another equation that is Langmuir equation. So in case of Langmuir equation, we want to consider some assumptions. So to derive Langmuir equation, we are assuming the surface or solid surface side are occupied by the gas molecule at constant pressure and occupied side we are representing as theta and the unoccupied side we are representing as 1 minus theta. So the rate of adsorption is proportional to the unoccupied molecule. So these are the various assumptions in relation to the Langmuir. First thing we are assuming that the surface of the solid possesses a fixed number of active sites and at maximum adsorption what happens is that one molecular or one molecular thickness or monomolecular layer is formed and the rate of adsorption we are calling it as condensation and that is proportional to the number of sites unoccupied and rate of evaporation is proportional to the number of occupied sites. So these are the main two assumptions and we said we are carrying out at particular pressure. So the fractional site occupied is theta and unoccupied is 1 minus theta and in case of rate we are divide, uh, multiplying into k constant. So the rate of absorption r1 is equal to k1 into 1 minus theta into p and rate of desorption is equal to r2 into k2 into theta. So at equilibrium what happens is that both the rate become equal and if you are substituting finally we will get k1 by k2 into p divided by 1 plus k1 by k2 into p. So 
again we are assuming this k1 by k2 is equal to b and theta is equal to y by ym where y is the mass of the gas at top and ym is the mass of gas that is converting to the monoyl so this instead of theta we are writing y by ym and instead of k1 k2 b right so the equation become bp divided by 1 plus bb and we are converting in the terms of y so this ym should be multiplied this side and finally we will get the langmuir equation as by that is we are inverting the equation and multiplying by p we get the equation as p by y is equal to 1 by ym v plus p by ym so this is the final equation so using that equation if you are plotting p by y versus p we will get a straight line and we get the slope as ym and intercept as b where ym is the specific surface of the solid and it happen we said that in case of second adsorption isotherm also we are getting a monomolecular layer so this thing is only applicable to the monomolecular layer formation that is the one of the limitations of langmuir adsorption isotherm so four limitations are the first one is that this langmuir adsorption equation valid only under low pressure and under low pressure only it is applying if it is higher pressure what happen instead of monomolecular it will go to multimolecular so we cannot explain with the help of this langmuir equation and according to the equation the surface is homogeneous but in real we cannot tell the solid surface should be homogeneous normally it is heterogeneous so that is another limitation and as per the equation the molecule do not interact but it is impossible right if weak forces also the molecule do not interact with each other like that not possible so these are the limitations of langmuir equation how this video will be useful in relation to the adsorption isotherm if you find useful please share to your friends thank you